Well, this is what the A-League is all about. The full house sign is up and the crowd are pumped for this one. Trust you are as well. Stand by for kickoff. Well, it did touch 38 degrees here in Melbourne today, but look at the temperature now. It plunged if you were watching the cricket mid-afternoon and 21 degrees ideal as we tick down towards kickoff for Kevin Musket says his focus is making opposition teams dread playing against his team. We'll see how ruthless they are tonight. And Tony Popovich unable to beat Kevin Musket in three A-League games as a player, but he did draw first blood in their coaching duel back on November 16. Our referee for this one, very experienced, Peter Green in game number 117. And he signals the start, the Melbourne victory, attacking the goal to the right of screen. All the tickets are sold out for this one, Robbie Slater. It should be a beauty. Yeah, it should be a super contest. Free kick straight away for the victory, straight on the front foot. All the victory players practically in their own final, in the final third, in their defensive third. Polance, what about that for a cross? And what about the save too? Nathan Coe one-handed to deny Haliti the opener. Super save. Brilliant ball in from Poliak. Quite often does this with his left foot. Pauline, sorry, and it's Slayer. It just loses Halidi. Free header. Good connection on it. That's a super save. One strong hand. Flings himself across his box. Halidi did get a brace at this venue against the Hart last season. He's in there again for Trofiro's delivery. Punch away by Co. Not a bad ball to the back post and inventing something with Top or Stanley. Ball was meant for Milligan. Cut out by La Rocca and look at Poljak move on again. Goal side of Broxham and Milligan. Arpia can push it out in front of Pollens if he likes. Delivery earlier from Pollens was outstanding. This time, two victory players got there to shut it down. He's got inside the area, though. And Contreras for the intervention that time. Yeah, he got lucky with the ricochet and went for the near post there, and he had bodies for the cutback. Great skills from Barbarousas. Moves it on quickly. Goalkeeper didn't deal with it, and Connor Payne blows it. Just had to direct it goalwards, and it was 1-0 to the victory. Outstanding ball from Barbarousas goes unrewarded. And there's hands on heads right around Navy Park. Well, what a miss. Wide, high and wide. And you've got Nichols and Troisi who, who drop into those channels, but it's still quite wide-ish, so it leaves a lot of space for the Wanderers midfielders. And they've always got the extra number there. Broxham and Milligan always outnumbered. Nichols again trying to hold off Spranovic. He's got to watch his step, of course. Spranovic after that early card. Hold up play by Haliti. Minicon isolated once more. Clever. Minicon, beautiful cross across the face. Arpia can't get the shot away. Haliti can. Second time around trying to place it. And it's poor finishing again in the final third. in that deeper role. Good block by Galloway, who's stuck to the task. Traore, little trick past Hersey, was delightful. Finkler. Milligan didn't sense Minicon coming from the blind side. He's done that brilliantly tonight, Minicon. Teeing up Sandalab. Brendan Sandalab! Right in front of the Wanderers fans. He's been on the pitch for barely two minutes. And this is just how Tony Popovich drew it up. 1-0 to the Wanderers. Well, it's a super finish as well from Santalab. He's just come on. The mistake in the middle of the park from Mark Milligan, the captain, who didn't sense that challenge there from Minicon. He drives at the heart of the victory defence, releases it perfectly. He's still got a lot to do, Santalab. First touch is good. Keeper comes out. And he slides it underneath him. That's a good finish, a clever finish, a clinical finish. The second goal of the season for Brendan Sandalab just slid it under the 
outstretched arm of Nathan Coe. Well, what an inspired substitution. And Tony Popovich calling the A-League's tinker man, if you like. But he continues to get results. I think they're looking for either Barbarousas or Traore. Good movement by Nichols. Barbarousas spotted it. Got it back to the Kiwi. Looking for Nichols again. It breaks for Naboo. And bouncing around pinball style. And we just look at the bodies in the box. It's incredible, isn't it? And he just gets so many bodies around the ball. Milligan. Finkler. Beautiful. Traore. Here's a go. Nichols with toys. And somehow deflection wide for the corner. Quite Scrambling so. defence. And they still keep that. Sheet play. Well, it's just the amount of bodies they get in there. I think it's top off Stanley. There it is. Mitch Nichols makes that little half a yard, or is it the one at the back? And it comes off. He thought it was in the back of the net. What about the touch from Finkler just to unlock things? Now he delivers the corner towards the penalty spot. Layers there. And no one running across the face of Kovic on the second phase. Got to get it forward in a hurry. Nice ball, Barbarousas. Finkler wins the free kick. Last chance. Barbarousas with a little switch of a super ball into him. Finkler looked like he just dwelt a little bit too long, but draws the foul. I reckon he's been able to steal a metre or two here on where the foul actually occurred as well, which is handy. Mitch Nichols gave him the ball and said to the Brazilian, you do your magic. It's a difficult angle to try and pick out a teammate, isn't it? Will Finkler go direct? Looking at his teammate's far post. Finkler drives it. It's literally the last kick of the game. What a free kick. You won't see a better one in the Hyundai A-League. Kovic knows it's going there. He's got it up and over. It's superb technique. Look at the flight of the ball. Kovic outstretched. Can't get a hand to it. Super free kick from Finkler. All those Brazilian technicians down the years. Zico and the like. But none have picked out the top corner with more perfection than that. Brilliant! From the Fink, he has the final say. The Victory fans say, again, how about giving him a start sometime to Kevin Musket? What a super match, though. And if you look at the balance of play, Wanderers was superb, but probably a fair result in the end. But it took until the death. And Tony Popovich as well, Finkler, with that push on Hersey to win the ball back. Remember, they got the throw in in the last minute. So many talking points out of this game. Brendan Sandilab looked like he'd secured all three points for the Wanderers, scoring just 79 seconds after coming on. But then, after the three minutes of stoppage time had elapsed, Finkler won the free kick and then put it in the top corner. And they take a point each. We thought it might be one of the games of the season. The Wanderers didn't have the personnel on paper, but boy, did it deliver. Full time, 1-1.